What's going on out there, good people? And welcome back to LMD Trading, where I am, of course, living my dream trading. Hope everybody out there is doing well. Hopefully you had a good day. If you one of those people that call yourself a trader, as for myself, it was a good day. Actually trusted the process a little bit more today, but still left, if y'all could believe this, probably left a thousand dollars on the table today. I can honestly say that I probably left 700 to a thousand dollars on the table today. Let's go ahead, let's get trader view pulled up you can see what i actually did make today reviewing trades for thursday february 12 or february 2nd february 2nd took seven trades today closed pnl 328 nice nice solid day off rip we took a trade pre-market on iq this was our only stock trade what i'm trying to do is take maybe one or two stock trades on some small caps each day so this was our stock trade. Let me see if it's going to say what Max Unrealized was. Oh, no, it's not. And I think that's because my entry was pre-market. You see, I got in at 9.15 this morning. So it's not going to show Max Unrealized. Max Unrealized was $50. Risking $10 on this trade, I made 4 R. And I actually did a video breaking that trade down. So I'm not going to break that one down today. NVDA. These two that I made 100 bucks on. I probably left $150 per trade on the table on those. This is one that I trust the process on. And I'll kind of discuss that process when we get to the charts. Amazon. Boneheaded trade. I knew it was boneheaded here. I got out of it. And then I went right back in it. Meta. Meta, I left about $700 on the table on this trade. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Realistically left $700 to, I want to say, maybe a little bit more than that on the table on that trade. But that's what all added up to a pretty good day in the market. Let's go ahead. Let's bring up think or swim we got the spy pulled up as usual choppiness this is kind of ugly today but i'm gonna bring up something real quick before we get talking i want to bring up a message that i typed into the discord this morning this is the message this morning and you see it was typed in this morning at 908 I actually had typed in when I took that um, IQ trade um, pre-market. But you see the message. If you look at most of the big techs or big, big caps, what I keep on my list, they all have nice established hourly uptrends. That was the first thing I noticed this morning when I was going through doing my pre-market prep. So let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, wrong button let's go there so i'm gonna change this chart right here to the hourly so this is the hourly chart and i'm gonna just go through a few of these real quick just to see this is the spy so i took this point right here to that pivot i converted it you know how i do it and it was in a good uptrend now pre-market on the spy this i don't like that when it's kind of just trading right off the top this is what hurt me on amazon when i took the amazon trade but let's go start looking at some first we're going to look at american airlines it's not a small cat i mean not a big cat but it was one that i was watching and something else i'm, a, I'm a, i want to say on this one because here you don't see a pivot really down here yet i use these two points right there i got my upper channel I converted it and I used this point. And look at how it is respecting that point right here late in the afternoon. 
So that was one. Let's look at Apple. Let's see if we found one on Apple. Apple did not have a good hourly. Let's keep going. Amazon. Let's look at Amazon. I used that point right there. Again, Amazon does not have a good pre-market where I could use it. But I used this point here to this point pre-market converted it to a channel and I use that point look up here at the afternoon it is respecting that point right there let's look at IQ I traded IQ today I took this point right here and that's the market closing I took that point right there that point right there converted it to a channel I use this high point this time that's not really, that wasn't really the high point. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to change it real quick. Let's go ahead, activate the drawing. That's where it actually is, right there. And you see how easy that is to change it? I didn't have to redraw the channel. I just look at that point, that point, that point, and now we have it. And in another video I stated, I want multiple points to touch. So that right there would have told me that this is not the upper channel multiple points touching that's the upper channel took that trade right there a banger 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 of a trade right there let's keep going meta nope can't find one on meta meta had this huge move off of the pre-market let's look at microsoft microsoft point right there point right there i'm good converted boom look at how it's respecting it up top nvda same and what you notice is these like gold channels those were i changed the colors on them so that i would know that gold color is off of the hourly and that's tesla this is going back to um yesterday and it's it's traded right in it pretty much all day look how i came right to the top of it right there came back down we got that huge flush wouldn't be concerned with that we're going to worry about what we taking trades on. But that was the pretext on how I traded this morning. I traded big picture off of the hourly chart. So let's go ahead. Let's see. How do I want to do this today? All right. So I think what I'm going to do. Let's review the video. And I'm going to review the video for the Amazon trades and the meta trade let's do that so got the video pulled up let's see we got in Amazon at 1005 so this is actually a good area on the video and I'll kind of walk you through and this is like I said this strategy that I'm using right now is is we kind of developing it as we go and when Amazon started trading right along this upper area, that there should have been a telltale for me to um, kind of not take this trade. But let's go ahead. Let's start the video. But it's in a good down channel. Boom, came back up. Boom, came back up. And then it's just kind of consolidating up along the top area. I had dropped this line right here because we see a couple of times it acted as support. That there should have been my sign to like not really be interested in this. But let me speed it up. You see it's coming back down in the channel. Uh, we got another two minutes before I take the trade. So it's below this. So that kind of piqued my interest. And then let's keep going. And see, it gets right here, and I'm like, okay, this is make or break right now. So I'm getting a little excited. All right, I go take a peek at Tesla. You see me drop some channels. Let me go back up. And I was looking at Tesla because Tesla was about breaking out of that channel. Now you see Amazon has made this move, and it should have went. It should have went right there. When that made that little move, it should have went 
all the way back down to the base of this channel. When it didn't do it, in my mind, I'm like, this doesn't look right. This doesn't look like the usual picture that I'm used to seeing. So I'm going to speed it up. And you see it's still just hugging right there along the top. So I'm going to speed it up. We down a couple of bucks. We get this nice bottom and tail. So I'm like, okay, now we're good. We should be all right. Come on, let's do what we're supposed to do. So I finally put my bracket in. And I'm like, make a move. And I'm taking this thing to break even because I don't really like the action that it's making. So it's up like 10 bucks right now. Still really can't move my stop up. So now we're up 15. And now I'm like, all right, it looked like it's going to do what I want it to do. Let's keep watching. So we still up just 15 bucks on the trade. Let's kind of speed it up. Still up 15. Like I said, it should be flushing down at this point. So that's kind of giving me pause. Like, okay, this thing, it could be kind of setting up to reverse. Still never got over 15. I'm going to move this, keep going. So now we're up 20. And it's still just dancing around. And now you see me finally bring my stop up to five. And I'm like, nah, this thing should have, it should have just came on down. It shouldn't just be consolidating up along this upper area of the channel. And you're going to see, it's going to stop me out. So I get stopped out. Oh man, did that happen that quick? Yeah, it did. So it stops me out. And then it stays in the channel. And then I buy another contract, y'all. I buy another put. I'm going against what, what my mind is telling me. This is not right. Anytime I've taken this trade, it's boom, 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 boom. Just bouncing off of those lines. It's not just consolidating. So watch what happens. Let's speed it up. Look at that. I'm like, nope. So I go ahead, I drop my bracket in. I'm like, eh. and this is never a good sign when you see a green bottom and tail. That's buying. That, that's a bullish candle right there. These candles here, they, this, that's a bullish candle right there. These candles are kind of bearish. That's an indecision candle. So, but that green, that green bottom and tail, that was like, yeah, try to get out of this thing as quick as you can. But it still looks like it's trying to work wrong and now look i'm like yep you didn't made a boneheaded decision let's tighten that stop up let's let's take this one on the chin look at it and w look at the reversal yep bad decision but we knew it was we not gonna get hit across the head now I, I flip straight on over to Meta because I'm looking at my thumbnail watch list. Re remember, this is on its own screen. It's not just this little chart. Some people have said, like, how can you see those little charts? That's on its own screen right there. So I see Meta. And if you notice, Meta had been trading in a channel and it got out of the channel. I like this. I like this if it gets back in the channel in the next candle to break the high. And I had I had my order set to OCO, so it, it gave me an error, which was actually a good thing because it hadn't really triggered me in yet. It hadn't really triggered me in. But watch when it triggers in. I'll go ahead, speed this up. Again, like I said, it hadn't really triggered in, but I'm in the trade. No harm, no foul. We we still got faith and boom. Boom, that's what you want to see. And then watch this thing. So I got my target right now set at 66. I move it up to 78. I move it up to 90. And so I got it at 102 right now. Look at where it is. Let me pause it real quick. 102 
is still inside of this upper channel. This thing got room all the way up to there. So get this target like all the way out of the way. Come on. Look at it. It tagged me. Let me bring that back. So I got it at 102. Look where my, my hand is on it. I go to move it up and boom, I'm tagged. It didn't already hit me. I'm already tagged out. Look at how much money is left on the table and look at what it does. How, how, how? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pause that right now. I'm going to go from the video. I want to come over and look at the... Um, I want to look at the actual chart now. So let's go ahead. Let's pull up Meta. And I'm going to pull up that contract. Let's switch this back over to the one minute chart. And then we're going to be out of here. Try to keep... Let's go. What time was that? So there we go. Got Meta pulled up. It's not showing the trades though. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong chart. Let's try it again. Boom, boom. Why don't I see the trades? But this was another one I kind of, it pissed me off. I actually closed my computer and logged off in everything on this one. But I'm going to drop some Actually, we don't need to drop arrows because we know where it was at. What I wanted to come over here, actually, I will. I'll drop the, I'll drop my exit. So that's where it, it got me out at. So I guess that was a little good. It did get me out of the channel. Look at this move. And this is why I say that. A lot of people say, well, you, you probably wouldn't have got the top anyway. Nah, I wouldn't have been trying to get the top on this one. Let me click back on there. I don't know. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Um, no, I wouldn't have. I just would have been chasing my stop behind it like I usually do. And let's go up to right there. That's like 350. And you notice I had three contracts. So right there, that would have left 500 on the table. If we would have stayed in it all the way up to there, I paid 148 for it. Let's go right there. That's $4. That's $2.50 per contract. 750 bucks right there. The other 300 would have came off of NVDA. Because NVDA, I left two maybe 300 on the table on that one water under the bridge water under the bridge i'll be ready again tomorrow to um to show myself improved and to continue to get better at this thing continue to get better i'll probably sit down this evening kind of write in some more notes on some things that i observed today while trading one of them being if it's if if the stock is just hovering right around the top of it and you're looking for that move back down, maybe know that that's that is kind of consolidating to make a reversal. So as always, thanks for checking me out. If you hadn't hit that like button, please do so. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. And as always, we can continue the conversation in the comments. If you want to see the recap for IQ. I did a totally different video for that. Um, it's going to pop up in one of these corners. I'm going to try to advance my skills within YouTube and add the link to that video. So it's going to pop up in one of those corners. But as always, thanks for checking me out. We will be back at this thing again tomorrow. Peace.